Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be covering the current champion offer and if it's a good offer or not, and then also going over my thoughts on if these type of offers are good or bad for the game. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so yeah, like I said, it's going to be kind of a two-part video, and the first part is going to be just me objectively going over the offer, you know, in terms of, you know, should you consider buying it, should you not, who should buy it, who shouldn't, and we're just going to kind of go over the offer, and then after that, I want to move into kind of a separate discussion where I talk about is this good for the health of the game is this a terrible idea you know is this something that should be done or not and i'll kind of just open up a discussion about how i feel uh you know about champions being sold so first off let's actually pull up the champion pack here and we can see here that it is 50 us dollars to acquire Horden, which is an epic magic affinity champion and it's got the uh, you know it's a, it's a nicely laid out offer it's got the skills right here you know um, and, and all that and then it provides you with the gear to you know at least start gearing the champion you get a ring and 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 then a four piece set of offense and a two piece set of crit damage along with a 200,000 silver which isn't enough in my opinion but yeah first off before we dive into the the price and if it's fair and and who should buy it who should it let's actually pull up Horden and go over him first first thought is kind of looks like he's from dark souls a little bit you know so definitely looks cool i, I like the aesthetics of Horden. And then we've got an A1 that's going to attack uh, one enemy two times, grant an extra turn if the target is killed. So the first thing that kind of jumps off the board in terms of that is very similar to a Relic Keeper, but you know, uh, actually attacks two times. So uh, granting an extra turn if the target is killed, this can be a really powerful ability in certain situations. And then the A2 is attack one enemy with a 60% chance of placing a 50% decreased attack debuff for two turns, heals the champion by 10% of damage inflicted. That's an okay A2. I wish that with him being an epic, we could get that down to a three turn cooldown because it is only a, a one hitter on one enemy and it's, it's not a super great chance of placing the decreased attack, but it is the big version of decreased attack and it has a little bit of life steal, so that's okay. The A3 is on a five turn cooldown if you can get the skill book for it place a 50 percent increased attack buff a 30 percent increased crit rate buff and a 30 percent increased speed buff on this champion for two turns and if you get horde and ascended to three stars it's going to grant an extra turn so he can do this for free so um horde is going to be a very good kind of mid game you know early to mid game champion in the arena you know you get him to cast this burning hatred and then if you have him go last on your team he runs in attacks gets a kill and keeps going you know gets an extra you know grant an extra turn runs in hits twice gets an extra kill so Horden has the potential to be a very good champion early and mid game for the arena for sure and especially if you get him ascended and can possibly be a campaign farmer because he can kind of snowball those turns but just like relic keeper he doesn't have a lot of aoe so or or any aoe as a matter of fact doesn't have any aoe so he's going to be kind of a slower campaign farmer so that's kind of the character in a nutshell and now let's dive into the offer and uh you know talk about if I think it's something you should buy or not, etc., etc. So, first of all, we've got a $50 offer for a Magic Affinity Epic Champion that comes with a full six pieces of gear and a ring with 200,000 silver. Um, I don't think it's that good of a deal, just kind of off the top of my head, because it's not going to come with any skill books or anything, you know. So, you're talking about having to still get all of those skill books for the skills on the champion, and then this gear isn't really optimal you I, I wish it came with like a speed set instead um now he is an attack champion so the attack is good but you know ideally we'd probably want at least two pieces of speed on him because you're probably going to want to use him in the arena if you buy him and as we know you're going to need arena in, the, in or a speed for the arena um and then only coming with a ring uh, i wish it at least threw in like an introductory you know amulet and banner or something to go along with it but it, it does not so kind of just my first thoughts is that it's not a very good offer and this offer is actually going to get worse 
the further developed your account is. Like, for someone who's in the end game, like I am, th obviously this offer is just an instant never gonna buy. Because, A, you know, end game players have probably already summoned Horde in before, and B, he's not really gonna progress any of my rosters, uh, you know, so there's really no point for me to buy him as a champion. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the only value would be in the gear, and it's it's four star epic gear. So not super valuable for end game players. Now, if someone is brand new to the game, like if they've just kind of started playing and they're kind of getting in, or, or they're just kind of getting into the mid game, it could be all right uh, in terms of an offer. But I don't know if Horden's gonna provide more value than your starting champion. I mean, he's definitely not better than Kale. And probably not better than Elaine or Aethel, and, and might be better than Gaelic. Uh, you know, probably is actually. So, um, I just don't see a whole lot of value in spending this fifty dollars. You know, I, I would almost recommend, you know, buying twenty-five to thirty ancient shards instead, and saving your fifty dollars if you were wanting to spend the fifty. So. Just in general, I don't think it's a very good offer, and I would lean towards recommending that basically all players don't buy it, but if you're brand new to the game and maybe you picked Gaelic and you don't have any of any really good rares yet, then maybe for that player, if they're looking to spend money, this could make sense, but I would say for 95 plus percent of the players out there, this offer is probably not the best way to spend your money. Now, let's move into the second part of the video, which is where I'm going to talk about what this means for Raid as a game and also the Raid community. Um, you know, first off, I would like to say my first impression is that I'm against these type of offers. I, I do think it's a bad idea to jump into this rabbit hole and, and start selling specific champions. This offer in particular. I'm not really that opposed to because Horridan isn't like some super GG god tier champion. Um, I would be much more against like, you know, a $500 pack that just sells you 10 of the best legendaries in the game. Like that would be really lame. So I, I would, but I worry that a pack like this is going to trend in that direction. So because of that, I am against it. But if it's, you know, if this is the only one they ever do, it's this one and only this one, I'm not really against that. But I am against what it could lead to. I don't want this to lead to buy Bad Elkazar for $99 this weekend only. Like, I don't want it to progress to that point. Because basically, for the game to be healthy long term, we need an element of RNG in both champions and artifacts. So I'll kind of explain this. Shards are to champions as artifacts are to the proper roles. So I'm okay with them selling shards, which lead to RNG for champions. I'm okay with them selling gear, like this crit damage set, but I'm not okay with them selling perfectly rolled gear, like, like eliminating that step of RNG in between. We need to keep that for the long-term health of the game. Like if they start having gear packs, like this one that are a hundred dollars and all the gear is perfect like like the chest has attack percentage and then the substats are speed crit chance crit damage and accuracy like it's just perfect that i would be very opposed to we need i'm okay with them selling the gear but not perfectly rolled just like i'm okay with them selling shards but not specific champions that's kind of where i stand on that um so hopefully this is kind of a an extremely rare one-time thing that doesn't become a trend of them selling you know tons of champions and 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 all of a sudden people can acquire the best champions in the game if they're just willing to uh you know throw money at, at these specific champion packs so i really hope that it doesn't come to that and it just sticks to this um you know because selling like like a, a mid to low tier champion, you know, it, it's okay. For new players that just want to buy it, that's fine. You know, this specific pack isn't really going to like wreck the long-term health of the game. 
But like I said, I'm worried about what it could snowball into and, and what it could kind of progress to down the road. So hopefully, um, you know, we can kind of let them know that we don't really want this in the game and hopefully it kind of stops here and it's, and it's a super rare type of pack, but we'll have to cross our fingers and kind of wait on that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's going to kind of do it for this video. I just wanted to kind of throw this out there and, and open up a, a dialogue and a discussion about this type of pack and kind of how I feel about it and all that. So definitely let me know what you think down in the comments. I always enjoy to hear your guys' input on these type of issues. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.